Sean Connery, the Scottish-born actor who rocketed to fame as James Bond and became one of the movie's most popular and enduring international stars, has died. He was 90. Connery was an audience favorite for more than 40 years, and one of the screen's most reliable and distinctive leading men. Once pigeonholed as Ian Fleming's sexy agent 007, he went on to distinguish himself with a long amateur career in such films, as The Wind and the Lion The Man Who Would Be King and Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. His turn as a tough Irish cop in Depression-era Chicago in Brian De Palma's 1987, The Untouchables brought him a supporting actor Oscar. Even as he entered his seventh decade, Connery's star power remained so strong that he was constantly in demand and handsomely remunerated. In 1999 he was selected People Magazine's Sexiest Man of the Century, and from his 007 days to 19,992's entrapment opposite the much younger Catherine Zeta-Jones, his screen roles more than justified the choice. Age seemed only to intensify his sex appeal and virility. In his early career, his physique was his main asset as he modeled and picked up acting jobs where he could. In 1956 he landed the role of a battered prizefighter in the BBC production of Requiem for a Heavyweight. Good notices brought him to the attention of the entertainment community, and his first film was No Road Back a B-Crime movie in 1956. He seemed doomed to play the hunk to aging leading ladies, as he did opposite Lana Turner in Another Time, Another Place or roles that stressed his looks, such as Tarzan's Great Adventure in 1959.